I'm excited to be with the most cutting-edge cardiologist and medical scientist, Professor B.M. Hegde. Professor B.M. Hegde, would you like to introduce yourself? Well, I have been a student of human physiology and human pathology for the last nearly 60 years, ever since I joined the medical school in 1956. And would you believe, now I feel, I am still a student in search of the truth. <laughs> I remember you published a paper in 1968 on the use of coconut oil and its benefits to health and today coconut has become such a popular superfood and 20 years ago if you spoke about coconut oil people would be worrying about it being a fat and having negative impact on cholesterol, triglycerides, heart conditions. What motivated you to look at something which was so cutting edge in 1968? Very simple. Traditionally in India, especially in the west coast of India, people depended only on coconut oil for everything. So did people in the United States of America up until 1930. Even bread was made with coconut oil in America. These were all healthy. That's number one. Number two is, if you went into the science of coconut oil, the fatty acid in coconut oil is sodium monolaureate. Mm -hmm. And the fatty acid in mother's milk is sodium monolaureate. These are the only two things in the world which have the same fatty acid. Though we have, for our business purposes, classified coconut oil as saturated fat and unsaturated fat, etc., etc. This is artificial for business, the classification. The true classification, what is the, what is the fatty acid? Mm -hmm. Sodium monolauric acid. Now, very interesting thing is, even in the 60s, 70s, when the world was going gaga against coconut oil and for various other oils, yes. infant food had to have coconut oil base. For the simple reason, if an infant doesn't have a mother, mm -hmm. and if it has to have some food which contains some fat, the only base can be coconut oil. Because so that's the only base containing sodium monolauric acid. Because... An infant does not have pancreatic lipase. Infant has only salivary lipase. So salivary li lipase can digest only two things, mother's milk and coconut oil. And both these things get digested in the mouth. Yes. So the advantage even now, for example, coconut oil is used in the West for treatment of Alzheimer's disease. You just put it in the mouth, it gets converted into ketones, and ketones directly go into the circulation. And only dead or dying brain cells can take ketones, not glucose. That is why it's a treatment or even for prevention of Alzheimer's, coconut oil is a treatment.